Diabetes is an invisible disease. You know, everyone looks at Courtney and she looks happy. She seems happy. She looks like every other student on campus, but people don't realize what's going on inside of her head. It's a big adjustment going to college. It definitely gets impacted by also having a chronic illness thrown in there. CDN is the only organization serving young adults with diabetes. Misinformation about diabetes is everywhere. We really see the impact of it on college campuses. The burden of self-advocacy is so heavy for these students, but it's also completely avoidable. Disability is another aspect of diversity. We've actually seen an increase in the number of students that have health conditions or chronic illnesses. For people that affiliate with disability services, it's because the person has decided that their condition might affect their schoolwork. There's definitely students that struggle sometimes with maybe being absent from class because of the health condition. It's a challenge when they go in and they want to talk to a faculty member and explain what's happening and maybe the faculty member doesn't understand or doesn't know what they need to do. She had a professor that also gave her a hard time and she missed an exam due to one of her pumps malfunctioning and the professor wasn't going to let her make up the exam. Had I not put in all the work to research and fight back with that professor, she would have ended up failing me for the course, which would have tanked my GPA. Um, I would have had to stay an extra semester and pay thousands out of pocket to do that. So it's really important that administrators understand, one, how to work with students that have identified, but also how do we make campus more accessible, maybe for those students who don't actually identify with an office. There have been strides made on most college campuses as far as understanding chronic health conditions, but there's still a long ways to go as far as what the needs are of these students and how we can best meet those needs. CDN is the only organization in a position to really change the lives of young adults living with diabetes. That's why I'm so excited about the initiative that we're introducing, bridging the gap in understanding of what a young adult living with a chronic illness needs to really thrive. We all have a role to play in actually changing the culture around chronic illness.